Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 8 of season 2 of the Quintessential Quintuplet. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Uh oh. See, now this, you know what it looks like to me. <laughs> it's Hestian, though. <laughs> oh. BTW if I yawn, I am sorry. It's out. It's currently 4.08 in the morning. <laughs> what if it's Yotsuba? I mean... Honestly, you all get look good with Isuki wings on. <laughs> You're Ichigo. That's Miku. <laughs> the other two, I think the second one was Nino and the third one was Yotsuba, but that last one was Miku. <laughs> That's Yotsuba. So that's why... I mean, in a way that's nice and sweet and really thoughtful. The fact that all y'all chose Isuki to look like, I mean, hey, you know, she one of my best girls, so. Ah. Hmm? What's up? Uh, she. Yeah. But my money is on Yotsuba. <laughs> Nino? Mm. 
Yeah. Duh! Uh-huh. Oh, Mika. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's honestly obvious as hell. She was so pretty at the shot. Oh my god. Oh, my best girl.
You know, Ichika, why don't you just tell him first before Nino? So then you can just have that edge over her. But. Hmm. Like one of God City all over again, damn it. Or Dong and Ropa too. Or fucking Steins Gate. My god. Yeah, too. You were the oldest. Thank you, maybe? Oh. 
You know, you might get rejected, though. Oh, God, I'm scared. Oh, damn it. Nah, he like deuces. Hmm. I mean, mainly it's just because their voice is love. I mean, but that could actually be Itsuki. Okay. So then maybe she's Ichiga. No, Miku. Miku. Mm. Why though? <laughs> really we, we do I have to say the persona five is <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
So take back what you said and get it right. That's me. Nico. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. Oh my god, that was so cute! Her, her hand, maybe? <laughs> oh, okay, Futaro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would that have been Nino? I, I mean... Oh, that could have been Miku who ran up to him again. Okay, honestly, this is what I kind of thought would have happened in this episode. She would have confessed to him because both... Be <laughs> it was a three-way tie for Miku, Ichika, and Nino for all three of them at the point when they were alone with Futado to eventually confess to him. But, I mean, you can't even say technically that they did. Neither one of... Neither... Either of the three confessed it to him. I want to know what Nino talked to her dad about because, of course, I mean, you cut that so quick that, you know, she turns around, there's your dad, and then it's like, oh, okay, next thing. We ain't going to talk about that, but still. It's kind of weird how they would just, like, end that abruptly just to go on to the next scene. But it's like now we're really going into, like, Nino was number one. Nino in my book, she still is my number one best girl. I love her so much, but as I think this is, like, I think, what, season, between season two, no, season one and season two, and even now looking into this, this is ending on that Miku is going to be the designated canon girl. And I, I love all five of these girls equally as much, even though I have my, you know, everyone has a preference. I love Miku as well. Miku is one of those chicks that, like, there are some things about her I can relate to and everything, but there's some things I'm like, no, I can't really relate to you on that. But, like, I still love you and I still support you and everything. But, yeah, I mean, honestly, because he looks good with any of the girls, really. And I want to see them, you know, because most of the time when he is doing something, who was the one that's mainly there? Either Miku or freaking Itsuke, that's it. So, you know, ugh. But <laughs> I think, as I said last week, because somebody kind of told me, I think it was it last week or the week prior, of me talking about, you know, them having, like, um, the Route A, Route B, Route C, Route, where each girl gets, like, the happy ending. Apparently, someone told me that that is actually going to happen, that they're making, like, 
another um, a, a manga or a chapter or something to where it's different routes so that everyone is all happy in the end and such. Which is interesting because, like, I, I was just saying that to just, you know, say, like, hey, it's a possibility they could do that for an episode as well. But, um, <laughs> the fact that, <laughs> that that's happening, like, what the fuck? But, yeah, it, it really does seem like it, it's going to be Niku at the end. And you know what? I have, all I can say is I'm happy for her. And you have to support her. I know there's going to be a lot of us who are kind of, like, probably hella peeved about this. But, um, you can still have, like, the little shippable moments with whoever you ship the girl with Futato and everything. But, yeah, I mean, the fact that, you know, when she was walking away and, you know, how the camera just, like, pans down from her head all the way to her butt, even though I didn't really care about that. But once, like, that hand grip, and he instantly knew that that was Miku, <laughs> after, like, staring at her ass for, like, how many minutes? <laughs> and she, like, just seeing her cry, and, you know, when he's like, are you Miku? And just like, oh, he got it right. But, you know, at the same time, you got it wrong because you call me. <laughs> you call you ass. Like, oh, but the fact that she went and embraced him, that was sweet. Like, that was so fucking cute. There's so many cute fucking moments with these characters in this. I can't. There's too much. If only Futaro had, like, four other brothers that looked like him, act like him, everybody would be fucking happy in the end. But no, we can't have that. <laughs> Which sucks. But it's okay. But other than that, guys, that is very action view turns out. Episode 8 of Season 2 with the quintessential quintuplets. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Thursday for Episode 9. Bye, guys.